We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you this message from Road Reality. Like, subscribe, comment. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back to another Saturday afternoon. It's probably a Tuesday or a Friday when you're watching this, but that's immaterial. <laughs> yeah, anyway, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go back to your childhood, right? I think we're all adults here. We can all admit that childhood was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun toys. Maybe some of us didn't. What the hell happened here? I think this flooded recently. We're going to take it nice and easy. Whoa, okay, hey, look, it got interesting. Quick, quicker than normal. But uh, anyway, so my kids are getting to an age where they enjoy uh, some of the same toys I remember playing with as a kid, namely Lego. And contrary to popular belief, it is not Legos, good gracious, it is Lego. The plural of Lego is Lego. Same with deer. There's a river or creek over there. What the hell? I have no idea where I am. I'm lost again. Uh, but usually my best videos come from being lost. So, hey, let's hope this one works out okay. Yeah, that is really high. Good gracious. That's only like four feet maybe below the, the level of the road here. But uh, anyway, so my kids are into Lego and we watch Lego Masters. I mean, hell, there's a TV show where adults go on national television to play with Lego. Granted, they're doing a competition, but still, it begs the question, have you ever uh, grown up and then gone back to a, what the heck, hold on. I'm unfamiliar with this road completely. And I don't know if the cameras are picking it up, but there's a lot of debris on the road. Anyway, have you ever gone back to your childhood and played with some of your old toys? Because that is exactly what we're doing in my household. Yeah, good, you can see me. So, <laughs> we're just having a blast. The kids are loving the Lego. They're building all sorts of stuff. Just this morning, my eldest gave me a proud papa moment. He followed the instructions to make a Lego model. Now, up until this point, he has grabbed a bunch of Lego, stuck them together, pretended it was something else, and was like, Daddy, look, I made the London Bridge. Didn't actually make the London Bridge, but, uh, or call it Daddy, but he's like, yeah, I made this truck, and it looks nothing like a truck. But he followed the instructions, so he's, he's learning. And I think that is so cool to be able to follow instruction, because anybody with young children knows they don't like following instruction, especially when it's uh, it's written down in, in picture form like Lego. But he was able to do it. Now, I don't know if the instructions are the same, but basically the, the new Lego kits for the young kid, all they do is they show exactly what pieces they need and where they go. Whereas the older Lego kits, and I've got one at home that's for nine plus, so I might be able to do it but it's 766 pieces and wow, this is a beautiful little road. Flint Hill Road here somewhere. Maybe I'll put up a map. Uh, anyway, it, it, the instructions I remember just had, here's what it looked like before, here's what it looks like now, figure out what you gotta add. So the tie into this is that my wife has jumped into this whole hog. Now my wife is a very organized person she very much prefers that things go into boxes and everything has a place. Hey, I know this road. Now, which way to go? I think we're going to make a left. And if that doesn't work out, we'll come back and make a... No, we're going to make a right. And if that doesn't work, we'll come back and make a left. So anyway, she's jumped into a whole hog and she has gotten my old Lego. Now, mind you, my mom boxed all my stuff up many, many years ago. So they've had to be cleaned and everything. But my wife is running all my Lego through the washing machine to clean them. Then she's organizing them. And she's gone into the interwebs, the deep, deep down interwebs. And she's found the instruction manuals for the old kits that are 30 and 40 years old that I had as a kid. And she's taking them, hey, there it is. Ah, oh, that is so cool. 
but she took the uh, she took the kits and she's putting them back together. So right now she's got a couple of boat projects she's worked on, but she did the fire boat, the police boat, and a pleasure boat. And she's built those kits back to new. She had to substitute a couple of parts, uh, but overall it was all there. So she was able to take it. And that is still one of the coolest roadside attractions you're ever gonna see, in my opinion. That is so cool. And I did a video on that. If you wanna see it, go back in my catalog. By the way, you should always go back in somebody's catalog if they've been around YouTube for a while because I guarantee you there's something out there to watch that's interesting. And it, it at least shows you the progression of their YouTube journey. So anyway, back on topic, she is doing me a huge favor and she has put all, she's putting all my Lego kits back together from when they were new. And it's so cool to see them. I can't wait to put them back up on a shelf and let them sit and collect dust for like 20 more years. <laughs> but it's just the coolest thing to me. I, I just, I'm tickled pink by the amount of effort my wife is putting into this project and the fact that my kids are finally able to build these Legos and, or Lego, excuse me, it's verboten to say Legos. But I'm, I'm super pumped that they're actually getting into it and I can sit down and do it with them. Now, that 766 piece kit that my wife bought me for Christmas last year, it's nine, 10 months later, she uh, she's finally getting on me to build it and the kids might actually let me build it this time. Before they just wanted to spread all the pieces out. I wasn't having it. I want to build the actual camper. I'll put a picture here now. So that's about all I got today. Totally not motorcycle related, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And these fun little roads that I'm finding. So if you liked it, like it, do the other YouTube stuff, comment, share, subscribe, all that. Or not. Yeah, that's your prerogative, but it is free to subscribe and it is free to like, and you know, it only costs uh, the creator money to make the content. So, or time, time is, time is valuable. Time is the most precious resource on earth. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I won't drag this out any further because I respect your time. And until next time, one, do something nice for yourself every day. And two, remember, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. John out.